Peace be with you. In a parish church in Rome, near the Dominican University of St. Thomas Aquinas, there is a wall mural. It shows the resurrected Jesus Christ on that Easter Sunday, appearing first to his mother Mary. That would have been a very private, intimate moment for both Jesus and for his mother Mary. It's not recorded in the Gospels. Cardinal O'Malley of Boston likes to point out that this meeting between Jesus and his mother Mary is prominently portrayed in Spanish-speaking countries. For instance, in Sevilla, Spain, men carry a statue of the risen Christ in procession. Women walk in another procession with the statue of the grieving mother Mary. When the two processions come together, a black cloak that Mary is wearing is replaced by a beautiful white dress, celebrating, of course, and giving thanks for the resurrection. All then together enter the cathedral with bells pealing, bands playing, people singing. Today's gospel tells us that the first person to go to the tomb of Jesus was the woman Mary Magdala. She had followed Jesus to his crucifixion and death on the cross. Now, early Sunday morning, she goes to the tomb and she finds it empty. She runs to tell the apostles, Peter and John, and the three of them then run to the tomb. And it is empty. It then dawns on them, certainly on John, that Jesus has risen from the tomb. When the two men leave, Mary stays. And it is then that the risen Jesus appears to her. He sends her to tell all the apostles that death has been conquered. He really is alive. He has walked away from the tomb. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead is the most important event in the history of the world. It has made a difference for believers and for non-believers, whether they recognize that or not. Christian women and men, certainly Catholic women and men, celebrate this event, the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, at Mass every Sunday. And they do that to remind themselves how important the resurrection is in our lives. The poet John Donne asks, Death, where is your sting? Death, he says, you have died. In a graveyard, in Jerusalem some 2,000 years ago, Jesus walked away from the tomb. Nothing like that had ever happened before. 
That resurrection was the first moment in a cosmic process that involves all of us. Death was conquered. It was no longer forever. Death was a separation. Death was a passage to continuing life, to eternal life. Jesus's resurrection includes all of us. We will pass through death and rise to be with him, to be with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to be with Mary and Joseph and all the saints, to be with all the saints who are part of our personal lives, our family, the good and holy people who have surrounded us and done so much for us in our lives. This is the message of Easter, and it's what we celebrate. We have been included in a great mystery which we happily believe. When you think about it, what's the alternative? And so, Happy Easter.